So where are we on this run right now? We're in Lyrnia trying to get to Landell, so I think the next step is to go to Ray Lucaria. So we'll do Rinala, then we'll make our way to Landell, get the second gravel stone seal, and then we'll go back and kill everything that we need to kill. Oh, bell bearings. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Oh, no, I don't need them. I forgot that we, uh, we're not using the second gravel stone seal, we're just holding it, so we're good on uh, bell bearings. We don't need them. No smithing stones needed. So what do we want to do for spells for Red Wolf? Probably range stuff, or we could maybe do the glaive. Might be decent. Imagine if they change the buff to certain spells to changes as the weapon level increases. You mean when we get a new patch? I don't think they would. It would be interesting though. But in all honesty, who's using two of the same seal in a run? Probably not very many people. Own Bolt actually probably would be good for this fight. Own Bolt, Lightning Spear. I think it would do better in a different game, not one where it's constant. Yeah, I agree with that. Also in a game where you could get more than one per playthrough. A game that had more loot. Oh, let's see. Can't level. Stone Sword Keys, how are we doing with all these? 15? Okay, it's not bad. I don't think I've used any yet, so we'll get two in Ray Lucaria, which is good. I almost need one more. Actually, I might need an extra one if I get the Lightning Scorpion Charm. Or an extra two, I don't know how many it takes to get that. Right there. Alright, I'm gonna do four saxes lightning spear for Renala. Oh, oh, take that off. Could try death lightning here too, honestly. Get of Hone Bolt. I don't know if it'll be good, but kinda wanna try it. Gotta get through Moongrim. Oof. Pick up the stone sword key. Thank you. I'm gonna grab the Golden Seed over here, too. Did we ever get to 60 Faith? I can't remember. Maybe we did. But with the Talisman. How's it going? It's going pretty well. Just making our way to the second Gravel Stone Seal. Gotta do Renala and then we can head for Lindell. Pretty fun so far, though. It's a nice change of pace doing magic runs. To be honest. Alright, Moongrim, be nice. Ah, this is not nice. That's nice. Never mind. We're good. Please die, Moongrum. Nice. Thank you. Okay, what do we do for... I guess Lantanx's Glaive for the Scholars? Really want to do this one, Lady. Seems powerful. Yeah, the spells are just really cool, I think. Look at that. A little slow, maybe, but it's still cool. Damn, it's a big AOE. Honestly, could just punch them, and probably should just punch them. It's 
save some FP. I have plenty of FP for this, though. Third one. Stop it with the books. Like this is even gonna hit. Did not. That's why Death Lightning sucks. Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike? Oh yeah, it's absurdly broken. Don't move, don't move, Renella. Thank you, Hyper Armor. Stay right there. Oh, it staggered her? the grace did he flee, and we get out of here sweetings. we're gonna go to the main gate from one one loading screen right to another i don't love it so what do we have next knight's cav magmore makar and then altus we'll make our way to uh which we call it can't think of the name of the boss uh the tree sentinel duo last time nightfall what would be good for nice cavalry use? Not death lightning, I'm telling you that much. I mean, maybe get lucky with it, but... Lightning Spear honestly wouldn't be too bad. annoying though because oh my god they just do like the tiniest movement and they strafe it the snowfield ones are gonna suck Once more. And the Dragon Bear one, too. Dragon Bear, Mount Thompson, Snowfield, Night Scabs are gonna be brutal. Get this. Do we have, uh, oh, we already have plus 12. Never mind, I don't need that. How many, do I have any spare golden seeds then? Or sacred tears? I do not. We need another, I think, eight golden seeds for max flasks. Shouldn't be too hard. There's one down here, too. So, do we want to get Lightning Scorpion Charm? I have two? Wow, I have two uh, Talismans. <laughs> it's not a lot. Could've got the Radagon Icon. Oh yeah, I guess if we if we actually hit the uh, level requirement for or, like the end game build or whatever, we could do Dex for casting speed. Yeah, I might go get the Radagon Icon. How can I request a weapon? So if you get 10,000 channel points, you can basically request any weapon I haven't done yet or anything that's not in queue. I mean, I guess you could request something in queue. I don't have a hard rule against that anymore, but that's how. It takes some time to, to get it, but uh, I figured it was a good channel point redemption because I pretty much had nothing before that. And if it's your first request, I, I'm going to do I'll do it like almost immediately. Once I finish a run, unless I finish a run of the same game and then it'd be like another run later. Can level up. Let's go more. Do you mind? 
You want Vigor? I'm gonna go Vigor, actually. Starting getting that up. Just climb. Just climb. Don't think, just climb. No poison. Don't do it. It's honestly not a big deal if you get poisoned. Just a minor inconvenience. Don't do it. Why are bats the worst? All the flying enemies in this game. Ugh. Hate them. Waiting till we get burrowing enemies. Enemies that just pop out of the ground. I mean, there are some that pop out of the ground, but like... They go back underground and then keep popping up and hitting you. You can't see them. I don't think they would ever make an enemy like that. If there was a burrowing enemy, they probably would uh, allow you to see it. Death lightning! Is that a frost or is that a... Nope, not a frost yet. Where's the frost, man? Hey, Benjamin. Favorite dragon boss? Probably Placidus Axe. There's a frost at the end of the fight. Hawks and Farmzula? Oh yeah. Those things are brutal. The Hawks plus the Lightning from the Dragon. Such a tough running section. I can actually see my eyes. Is it actually nighttime? It is the middle of the night. Perfect. I was forget about Placidus X. Love that fight in the atmosphere, but it's really easy to miss. Yeah, I missed it on my first playthrough until I had to go back later and uh, kill him when I was looking up where to get all the achievements. So we got another Knight's Cavalry, we got a Falling Star Beast, we got the Omen Killer and Miranda. Then the Tree Sentinel duo. Which is why I am leveling Vigor right now. Because I know that fight's gonna suck. Yeah, maybe it won't be that bad. But yeah, remind me never to put on Death Lightning again. I keep putting it on, thinking I can make use of it, and it just keeps disappointing me, so... Never again. Am I going faster than a horse while crouched? Damn it. Sixteen hundred damage. Like it actually does good damage. It's not the issue with it. The issue is you can't ever hit with it. He says as he hits the Knight's Cavalry twice now. Maybe hit him. I got so lucky with the first two. Dude, stop it. It's probably not going to work. Almost worked. Hey, Travel Six. We are indeed faithing. To be more precise, we are lightninging. I don't think I don't know if Deathblight's gonna like really get any bonus effects in the DLC. It's more like a PvP thing to me. If Deathblight was a weaker version of Ancient Dragon Lightning Storm, then it would have a better rep. I think so, too. Well, it probably would, you probably wouldn't use it still because of Ancient Dragon uh, Lightning Strike. Where am I going? Oh, I gotta rest. Actually, hang on. Start over.
Oh, it's the wrong grace. I thought I got the grace. I didn't get the grace. I'm an idiot. I thought I got the grace up there. And then, like, only after I hit warp, I, I noticed where I was warping to. That's why I might have his moment in the sun with an enemy weak to it. <laughs> One enemy. I mean, maybe, but I'm not expecting it to. Can you curse anything in the Dark Souls games? Or no? Yeah, I thought I got this grace for some reason. Let me take off this forever. We'll do this, and we will do, I guess, Hone Bolt. Not a fan of Lightning Strike. This is like just a weaker Fortis Axe's Lightning Spear. Is there something else too? Was that six, seven, eight, nine? Okay. So honestly, like I don't think we need anything else. I think we have the all the spells I'm gonna want to use right here. What was the other ancient dragon one? Oh, the lightning spear, right? Forgot that's what it was called. I don't remember if these guys can freeze or not. Seven sixty six. They weak to lightning. Eleven fifty. I pivoted, so I couldn't. Oh, whatever. It's fine. This is redemption for making faith so bad in DS3. Stay right there. I remember doing Miracle Only isn't in, in uh Miracles Only in DS3. The beginning was rough, very rough, because I think like the first decent miracle. Well, you can't. I don't think there's a decent miracle before Vort. And then I remember trying to do Deacons. That's pretty rough. You need like a good AOE miracle for Deacons, because that's the problem with Deacons and like bow runs or magic runs is not having AOE. You kind of need the DLC too. Do you? I don't. I don't remember. For you mean for faith builds? Try this, yeah, this does. Fully charge it. It's not that big, which is why I don't think it's gonna be like amazing here, but that's still 2,900 damage. Lightning arrow. I don't remember how much I really used that, to be honest. Just realized I almost died. Left my faith playthrough in DS3 on hold. I was so frustrated with it. I was also trying the same Biden. I don't think I've ever used that weapon. Stake, Wrath of the Gods, or Spear. Sounds right. I think Lightning Stake, too, you need like 35 decks or something ridiculous. It's like a very high nut dex, uh, Faith 4. Alrighty, let's do Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. And then after that, maybe Lightning Sphere? I should have cast it right here and see if it actually works. I missed both of them. No. It is 35. 
Holy crap, roll slower. Or heal slower. Yeah, this is proving to be difficult. When you hit, though, deal very good damage. Too bad I just keep getting knocked out of my attacks. Too bad it takes 10 years to heal as well. Okay, just stop trying to charge it. It's not working. Kind of close. What? <laughs> they both hit me at the same time. I'm getting very unlucky with this right now. Okay, I definitely can use more healing flasks here, like... You cast lightning incantations on Torrent? You can. Some of them, not all of them. This one you can, though. Not good. Well, what do you die? Really? I don't know which one is low. Nice. Okay. Easy fight. I'm gonna pick up my runes. Oh well. Uh, actually, we're not going this way. We're going, going up. Forgot. That's a rough one. I don't mind the tree settle on its own. And luckily you can fight those guys separately, but fighting them together is kind of, I don't know, it's fun and also like super annoying. So we got the Bellbearing Hunter, Deathbird, and then Draconic Tree Sentinel. I actually never killed the Draconic Tree Sentinel in New Game, so it's lightning resistant, which is why I avoided it, and I just did Fiest Champs. Should be better here, though, I would imagine, just because, like, I have way more faith now. It'll just come online. Yeah, once we got this spell right here, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, then, uh, we've been set. I don't know what we're going to use here, though. None of these spells are particularly quick. Lightning Spear is probably the fastest, actually. Elden Ring duo fights aren't that great? Yeah. Have to agree. I like some of them, but like they're not the most inspired. There's not really a duo fight in this game that was designed to be a duo fight. Is custom. Is custom. What do we want? Uh, I guess we could do this to start. Designed to be a 2v2? That's true. They were designed with summons in mind. We can just do Hone Bolt. Yeah, good luck hitting me, dude. Good luck hitting me from there. Like, everything is just too slow, I feel. I feel like for this guy. Yeah, I don't really have anything else besides Lightning Spear or Own Bolt. Blocked it! Maybe Hyper Armor? Nope, no Hyper Armor. Maybe try this? Damn. He beat me. <laughs> I hyper armored I hyper armored three's attacks and I couldn't I couldn't get out of them. The one time I get hyper armor on that attack. Because every other time I get knocked out of it. Alright, well I guess we just do lightning spear and hone bolt. Kinda of boring, but everything else is just like too slow. Thumbs are a cool addition to the souls formula, especially for newcomers. I agree. 
I definitely think it's more uh, casual friendly. I could do this, I guess. As he slow walks. Did that actually not hit him? How is that even possible? Thank you. I assume he's gonna be on a leash and he won't be able to go that far from the the shack. I might get Ritual Sword Talisman too, I think that would be helpful. And I have like two talismans on right now, so... Damn. Okay, Deathbird. I can probably just use this for the Deathbird. What are you doing over here? I want these snails dead, they're so annoying. Okay, I think they're all dead now, finally. Chill out. I might need to go rest too before the tree sentinel. I think I'll go back and uh, do that. Hopefully we're good with six FP flasks. I think we will be. So we'll do this. We'll grab the Rampart Grace and we're going to go get the Gravel Stone Seal and then head back to Limgrave to finish basically everything we skipped, which is a lot. Uh, what do I want to use here? I just think they made the bosses the hardest because every game has gotten harder. I think part of what it is is uh, as people get used to more and more fights, they have to keep finding a way to top themselves. Because, like, the fights in Dark Souls, Demon Souls are, like, nothing compared to what they are in the later installments in terms of difficulty. But I definitely think summons played a, a part in Elden Ring's design. That's why you see more AoEs, more attack spamming. Oops, stop. Damn it. Oh, is he frozen? Nice, okay. Give me lightning spear.
Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. I think I'm dead. Oh, it's close. A little too close. But hey, we're gonna get a 15% damage bump once we get the seal. That would be nice. Probably don't need more vigor right now. We can go... Maybe more mind. Because now we're gonna, we're gonna go back to easier stuff for a bit. I think the big brain play here would have been to go and do Radon to get underground and do Fuse Champs. Because I gotta do that stuff anyways and it would save me time on the warp, but it's all right. I think they become more forgiving. I mean, things like sleep pots or summons that can make the game easier really help reach a broader audience. That's true. They just give you more options for, for stuff. And that was the whole thing, right? It was like Elden Ring was just about choice in terms of how you want to play it. You know, you can choose where you want to go. At a certain point, sure, it converges to like one path, but literally everything before Langdell is optional. The only requirements are that you have to kill two, uh, two demigods and get two great runes. Okay, well, uh, no, this is the right way, never mind. But for a second, I thought I was going the wrong way, but we're good. Can the gamers make Radon and Moog their first remembrances? <laughs> you could. I forgot, even Moog you can, uh, you could do. Will that get you? That will probably get you into Langdale, right? I never thought about that, though. Like, Elden Ring is returning to the roots of the series. DS Demon's Souls and DS1 were all about choice. Later entries became more linear. Yeah. Dude, I was crouched in front of that guy and he still couldn't hit me. But the hardest if you're really stubborn and want to go to Dragon Bear as soon as you get to Kaelid. Yeah. All right, can I jump all the way down here? That feels like death. I am not gonna, how do you, how do you get down? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I remember jumping over here. Ooh, nice try, buddy. I need your friend. Give me your friend. Should be a bit easier this time than when I was doing this before. Not what I meant to do. I was uh, thinking that was Lightning Spear. It was not Lightning Spear. It does hurt still. Okay, how many can you do? That's not cool, man. Maybe do something else? Give me that seal. So now we go back to Weeping. We'll finish off Limgrave and then go to Kaelid. It is nice every now and then doing like a, a different route instead of starting with Weeping Peninsula. Like having to go to Altus or Lingdell or the mountaintops. It doesn't happen a lot, but actually, I mean, I, it kind of happens a fair amount. It's like 50-50, I'd say. If I'm not power stancing something, though, I'm pretty much just doing the normal route where I do Weeping first. Oh, you know what we do need to do and that I forgot? We got to go do Fringe Folk. Let me get this. Actually, I'll do I'll do the Knight's Cavalry up to the and then I guess through Leonine. So Deathbird, Leonine, and then we'll go do Fringe Folk. If I remember. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a mark on the map. And hopefully not ignore it. That way I know not to skip it. Because that is definitely what I could forget to do. Because it's not really on a path with anything. It's just kind of on its own.
idiot. He's gonna try and do a jumping attack there. Not the best idea. Uh oh, that's a grab. Oh, I miss. I grabbed the. His head went underground. Cat birds are kind of annoying. For this, not gonna lie. Can I level up? Nope. Cannot. Hands are glowing. Looks like I have some weird fist weapon or something. Don't. Just just let me climb. Why why do we have to play this game every time? I'm amazed I didn't get knocked down, honestly. Because I have what, like 14 poise or something? 16? Oh, we can do blue dancer charm too when we get that. Oh, I forgot Mitchell's sword talisman or shield talisman. Hmm. 